Hi there and welcome to this video which is going to be looking at the uses and properties of different fullerenes and graphene. So if we start off with graphene then you'll notice straight away it looks very similar to graphite. It is an allotrope of carbon and it has three strong covalent bonds but the key difference is that it is only one sheet of graphite, one layer, which is incredibly thin, think one atom deep. It is made up of hexagonal shapes it also has delocalized electrons, which means it can conduct electricity. And it is two dimensional. Right, so if we move on to fullerenes then, the first thing you need to know is there are two different types. There are tubes like carbon nanotubes and there are spheres like Buckminster fullerene. Now, both of these are allotropes of carbon and their structure is made up mainly of hexagons with the odd pentagon in there. Now the spherical ones have a particular use in that they can be used to cage other chemicals in there, which could become particularly useful in trying to deliver chemicals into the human patient. They also have a high surface area, which means they could become really useful catalysts. One of the main examples of one of the spherical fullerenes is Buckminster fullerene, which has another formula, another name of carbon-60. Now, carbon-60 is made up of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons. It is a stable substance and exists as browny black crystals. Nanotubes, on the other hand, are also allotropes of carbon. They are cylindrical sheets of graphene, which have delocalized electrons, meaning they can conduct, and high tensile strength, which means they are really, really strong. Now this structure makes them particularly useful because they are strong yet light so they can be used in things like tennis rackets where you want your athletes to be able to move them freely but them to be strong enough to hit the tennis ball back. That's about everything you need to know for the video then so let's move on to a couple of questions. First one being describe the properties for graphene, Buckminster fullerene and carbon nanotubes each worth two marks. Question two using the properties suggest a use of one single use for one of the three structures mentioned above. That could be what we've mentioned in the video, it could be something else. As long as the properties match up, you're more likely to get the mark. So pause the video and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. So question one then, it says describe the properties for graphene. Two marks. The first thing you need to say is it's thin, approximately one atom thin. Strong or high tensile strength. And you could have also put it has delocalized electrons so it conducts electricity. Any two of those three would have got you two marks for that one. Buckminster fullerene, there are only two things you can say really. It can cage or encompass different chemicals and it has a high surface area. Bear in mind we're not looking for the uses here, we're just looking for the properties. Carbon nanotubes, again two marks. Your first one, it's got delocalized electrons so it can conduct electricity and strong or high tensile strength. And then moving on to the uses. The first one, if we look at graphene, you'll notice I didn't give a particular use in there, but something like thin screens, because they can conduct, would be useful. Buckminster fullerene, delivering drugs into bodies, or as catalysts, because it's got a high surface area. And then finally, carbon nanotubes as tennis rackets, because they're strong and light. And that about sums up this video. So we'll move on to the review question, which is describe the structure and properties of the four different allotropes of carbon. So that's graphite, graphene, fullerenes, and diamond. You might need a bit of a recap, so you can go back to the allotropes of carbon video, the structure of diamond and graphite video, or the uses of diamond and graphite video. And there we go, that ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, Click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.